Guys, I got our next guest of the night, and it's a special one from the Fight Valley movie. We got Aaron O'Brien. Aaron, how are you doing tonight? Hey, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing awesome, and I'm over here on the East Coast. It's getting really cold, but of course you're over there in California. Um, how's the weather even, over there? Even when it's not nice, it's still nice. It's like it's a, it's a little, it was like rainy today, but it's still like the temperature's fine. Even when it's cold, it's really not that bad. It's great right here. So, I also see that the Fight Valley movie hasn't debuted in Brazil yet, so that's going to be going, uh, what, in next week they're going to be making the debut. Yeah, on the 9th, so we're super excited about that, and then um, Chris Cyborg is from Brazil, so she is, like, promoting it like crazy. Um, so we're excited. It keeps, it keeps coming out to new places. It was just, uh, it just came out on Showtime, like, a month ago, um, so it's, uh, it's still going strong, so that's good. And we had so many fan questions as soon as I announced that you were coming on the show. And, and one of those questions is from our good listener, Rusty, out there, who wanted to know, you know, what fighter did you have the most fun hanging out with on set or, uh, you know, even off set? Um, we actually, we spent a lot of time with um, Holly Holm and her husband, actually. Um, my, my boyfriend did the stunt coordinating for the movie, so we, the, the uh, four of us went to New York on our downtime, um, did some exploring there. Um, so we spent a lot of time with them, with them and then uh, with, with me, actually with all of them, with Misha, Cyborg. We actually still like hang out with Cyborg out here. Um, she lives in California, and she's amazing. We love her. Um, so honestly, I, we hung out with all of them. It was great. Um, I, I, Misha's in uh, Vegas, so she's like not too far from us. So yeah, we keep in touch. And you know what? Chris Cyborg, like at first glance, a lot of people are like, oh my God, I wouldn't want to mess with her. But she's like one of the yeah. nicest like girls out there. She's so nice. She's amazing. We, we like, adore her. She's the sweetest person ever, but I, I would never cross her. <laughs> and then you have Misha Tate, and, you know, I saw the photo with you next to her, and she looks like she's ten times bigger than you. And she's she's, yeah. uh, she's a small girl, but, you know, she's uh, she's in shape. I'm she's... <laughs> <laughs> so what was, what was going through your mind getting ready for this movie? Did you have any history of MMA before? Have you ever watched, like, UFC fights in the past with your boyfriends or anything? Oh. I actually really like you. Like I like UFC. Like it's the one sport I can watch and I can be like excited and like not really have to. Yeah, like you don't have to know like you know like rules like you do with baseball and all that. Yeah. It's kind of it's just exciting. People are beating each other up. To me, that's exciting. <laughs> but um, but no, I was a fan, but I but I didn't really. I had no fighting experience. I, I've done a little bit of fighting and a um, movie I did called Dale Bait, like 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 um fighting for the movie. But I was I was like a, I was a little nervous before we started, so I, I did um I did some jujitsu training, um just to get ready because I really didn't know what they were going to expect from me. Um, but but that that boosted my confidence a little bit. I I didn't really use it like I I did do some fighting in the movie, but I just just to be prepared and to feel like I was in shape and um I did I, I trained for like a month, nothing crazy. And for a lot of our listeners out there who haven't seen Fight Valley yet, it's it's all over the place. It's at Walmart, like you just said they uh. Have it on uh, uh, Showtime now. Uh huh. On demand. Yep, it's on demand. Yep. It's literally everywhere. And if you haven't seen it yet, I totally recommend it. It's pretty much about uh, like a young girl who found her sister. Uh, you know, after she was in a a fight, she dies, and she wants to end up coming back out of respect of her of her sister to bring justice to the killer. And uh, yeah. Like, did you read this role and you're like, oh my god, I'd be perfect to, to play Duke? I, I didn't know who I was going to play. Like, I knew, like, I talked to Rob for a while, and I knew the director, and I was going to definitely be a part of the movie, but we didn't know who I was going to play. And then, and then finally he's just like, well, who do you want to play? <laughs> and I was like, honestly, I think I would love to play Duke. I like this type of character. Like, she, she's tough. She's got a, definitely a sweet side, um, but... but like the good guy, I think of the movie, one of the good guys. But, um, but she's like a tough, sweet girl, and and I liked the little love story. I liked, um, I thought it was a sweet little romance between her and her girlfriend. So I, I was excited to play her, and then I got a little, a couple little fights in there. So that's fun. Um, I enjoyed her. I'm, I'm glad I played you. Well, you actually got an upcoming movie that's coming out. It's like an anti-bullying movie. I'm pretty sure. 
Uh huh. Right. That's a, that's that's also with Rob. That's uh, we filmed that in uh, October, I want to say. And yeah, actually, Jamie from Fight Valley is in that as well. The one who plays Jamie uh, Cabrina, um, directed by Rob again. We have Tara Reed in it as as our uh, main character. Um, but it's a, but it's a really cool movie. It's a it's a horror movie, but it's like an anti bullying kind of theme. Um, so basically, um, I kind of make Tara pay for the, her character. Um, bullies people in high school and her family. She comes from a family of bullies and kind of show her the error of her ways. But it, but it's it's a really cool movie. I'm excited about that one. <laughs> what was it like working with Tara Lee? She's a, she's a legend. She was awesome. I was I was honestly I was so excited to meet her. We we like chatted on the phone because I I, didn't, I was gonna try and like maybe get together with her because we were the only ones out in LA. Everyone else was in, on the East Coast, Jersey, New York. Um, so we, we talked for a little bit before uh, I, we flew out there, and um, we actually became good friends on set. We we, we um, stayed at the same hotel, her and I, and we spent a lot of time together. We ran lines. We had a lot of scenes together. Um, and she was a lot of fun, but I, I was honestly really excited to meet her. But she, she's, a, she's a sweet girl, and she's very professional, and I, I thought she killed it. I thought she did a great job. As we're doing this interview right now, I got so many questions pouring in on Twitter. Uh, people wanted to know what what was one of the first movies that ever made you cry. Like, uh, you know, for me, I think Jack with Robin Williams was like the first movie that really shed a tear. Like The Notebook, The Lion King. Uh, what was you the know, first see, movie? All dogs go to heaven made me cry. All like, dogs go um, to heaven. <laughs> and uh, like. But there's another movie, the dinosaur movie, the, uh, oh, Land, the Land Before Time. Time. Yep. Oh my God. We're both, like, they had me, like, yep, crying yep. for, like, a good hour, and my mom was like, um, <laughs> it's a movie. <laughs> I, I love the, uh, the girl, Sarah, I think her name was Sarah in the movie, the, the Triceratops, she's like, yes, oh my God, I, it's been so long since I've seen it, but. Then it there's, like, that movie. big, goofy, green one who's all slow and kind of goofy. <laughs> That was a good movie. That was an awesome movie. I want to rewatch that. It still makes me cry. I still can't get over, you know, the passing of Robin Williams. Over the past couple of years, we lost so many people in Hollywood. And somebody like Robin Williams that brings that edge of comedy out and also is like tearjerker at the same time. It's uh, it's mm-hmm. a big thing in, in, in Hollywood. You know, what are some of your favorite movies when you were growing up as a kid? Um, speaking of Robin Williams, I loved that Popeye movie. I thought that was like one of the coolest <laughs> movies. Um, I like I, I love The Shining is one of my favorite movies. Um, I love uh, Legends of the Fall was was uh, was one of my favorite movies growing up. Um, what else? Oh, Scott Heather's uh, with uh, Winona Ryder and uh, Christian Slater. Classic, amazing movie. I love that movie. Um, I like I like like the eighties movies like Can't Find Me Love. Um, Actually, my first job was at a video store. Really? <laughs> I worked there in high school for like, I worked there all through high school, and all I did was sit there and watch movies. It was the best job ever. You know, that's something that you won't see anymore unless you go to like a museum, <laughs> like see a blockbuster rental. It's so sad. No, it was the coolest job ever. All, and then we just started getting that because I'm kind of old. Um, but we had, we just started getting DVDs at, at like the, the mid point of me working there, and I was like, no one's going to ever buy these. But. <laughs> I was wrong. You were born in 1980, so you got to see like all the best years of, of some of the classics, you know. I did. That's, that's honestly that's what I did growing up. I just I watched movies and I just wanted to be in them. It, it, it's like there's no real movies. Like when we were growing up as kids, there were like so many heartfelt good lesson movies. Nowadays, I don't think they have that. I mean, there's a good movie that just came out about dogs. It's called That's Getting Everybody's Attention. It's like uh, yeah. I can't remember the name of it. It's like the uh, the job of dogs or something like that. A dog's, a dog's purpose. A dog's purpose. Have you caught that movie yet? No, I, I mean my boyfriend and I are like big animal lovers. Like we have we have dogs. Like we, we when we saw that video that was a controversial video, it, it honestly it turned us off to seeing the movie, um, which it, which sucks because we did really want to see it. So now we're just kind of like not like protesting the movie. I mean, no, there's a there's it, a there's a lot of people that. Uh, it. That got twisted from that, from that. But I, I heard that you know, all in all, it's a sad movie because you got to go through so many deaths. Like, you know, I hate when I see an animal die in a movie. Like, you know? I know, you know, it's it's awful. It's a, it's hence why all dogs go to heaven and the land before time. are so upsetting. <laughs> so now you were in the Fight Valley movie. I mean, what other uh, 
what did you really learn, you know, after, you know, coming out of that? Did you kind of gain a new respect for the sport? Oh, yeah. Those girls were just, like, amazing. Like, I, I mean, they, when they did their fight choreography, I assume they would be pretty good at it, but, but it's different than actual fighting because you have to, you know, be sure that it looks real, but you're not hitting the person. Um, so I was actually, I was so impressed with how, with how they handled the, the fight choreography. They, they were amazing, and anything that our stunt uh, choreographer asked them to do, they were like, okay, and they're like flipping each other, and, you know, granted, they're super athletic, but, but it's, you know, it's all of their first movie, and they just, they handled it like pros. Their dialogue, they handled like pros. I thought they all did a great job. Like, Cyborg looked badass as hell, I think. Uh, <laughs> she looks great. Um. But they, they all did a really good job, and, and Misha's getting, like, tons of great feedback from it. Like, I, I, I like to go on Twitter and, like, see what people are saying, and uh, honestly, everyone's been like, Misha, you rocked it, but Holly did a great job. They're all really good. And it was kind of crazy because in that movie, Holly Holm actually gets choked out by Misha Tate, and it actually just yeah. happened, like, right after the movie came out. It was so funny because I, I was watching it at a, at a bar with my boyfriend, and he like and he was a stunt coordinator, and we were both like, "Oh my god, that's the move from the movie." <laughs> that's got to be uh, interesting. It's so funny. That's got to be interesting dating a stunt coordinator. Uh, you you do your 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 stunt yourself as well, right? Yeah, I don't do anything like crazy. Like I don't like light myself on fire, but like he, he does that shit. But I, I do like like more low key. I do my own stuff. Like I'll do my own fight stuff and. I could, I could take I could take a fall or whatever. I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty durable, <laughs> but um, but no, it's cool. It's because a lot of the movies that I do work on, he stunt coordinates, so we work really well together. And also, you just got a new little puppy as well. Do I see that? Is it a mini poodle you got? Uh, I call them puppies, but they're not really. They're just tiny. They're <laughs> we, we've uh, we've had them for a few years, but one one of them's a rescue. She's like we don't know how old she is, but she's she's a little bit older. Um, little white poodle. She's adorable and so sweet. And then the other one is she's like three and a half years, but she they're just they're so cute and they're they're just like easy dogs. They're lazy. They lay around and cuddle with us all day long. They're great. My mom's got a mini poodle. It's, he's so smart and they love attention. I, yeah, they're like little cuddle bugs. That's all they want to do is cuddle. <laughs> they're the easiest things in the world. Love so. Them. So let us know a little bit about, you know, why you wanted to do this anti-bullying uh, movie because it's a big movement right now. I've talked with a lot of fighters out there, you know, especially with social media nowadays. People just, oh, yeah. th there's no filter there. And it it's bothering I, a lot of a, a lot of children out there. Yeah, you know, I have I actually have six nieces and nephews, so it, it, it is a big concern. And, and uh, you know, talking to, like, my, my sister or brother about them, like, I... They, you know, sometimes they, they struggle a little bit in school, and it's and it's heartbreaking. Like I I remember what it was like. I, I I didn't. I had moments where I did you know get bullied a little bit. I think everybody did. Um, but for the for the most part, I feel like I stuck up for people that were getting bullied. It's just it's just a bad awkward time in high school. I think. <laughs> I mean, some people loved it, but it's 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 awkward, and you know, there's a lot of bullying out there, and even by parents and stuff too. And I think that that's something we touched on in the movie that that's sometimes where it starts, um, and that's with uh, with Sarah Reed's character in the movie. Her family bullies and pressures and pushes her, um, and that's kind of how the bullying begins there. So I, I think I like that we talk about that in the movie because a lot of times that if you do get it from the, the parents. Um, and yeah, social media is just like a whole new beast. Like I, I could not imagine having Facebook and all that stuff in high school because it's just a, a new way of people being able to say, you know, horrible things. And I've gotten some strange messages. I, I think most people have on Facebook or people are just too much or just say something disrespectful and it's sad, but you know, that's, there's people out there like that in the world. Well, well, as humans, it's like we all want to be accepted. So anytime we hear anything bad about ourselves, even if it's like criticism, you know, we kind of get a little drawn. But people have been real nasty on Twitter and oh, Twitter especially and, and Facebook like that. And now with the younger kids, it's people that they're seeing every day, you know, that, that, that they're picking on. And, uh, you know, one photo goes viral now and it can ruin literally uh, – yeah. A person's life. It's 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 scary, you know. It is scary, honestly. That would have crushed me. Like, it, I don't think I would have been able to like handle that. It, it, as you know, like I said, we didn't have Facebook when I when I was in high school. But that, yeah, that that would have crushed me. That's 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 a tough thing to deal with. 
And as we get towards the end of our interview here, Aaron, I, I saw that you were just in Vegas for, uh, an, it's called Annie Up Autism? Yeah, it's a, it's a charity we do for our friend uh, Karina Jett. Um, it's uh, to raise money for autism awareness. And we go every year. Um, my boyfriend also plays professional poker. That's so awesome. We go and, Sounds like yeah, a cool guy. He does, he does everything. So we, he's very well-rounded. So we do, we do a lot of these poker charity uh, tournaments. Um, so we go out to, we go out to Vegas a lot. Every every few months we go up and do a charity event and he usually stays in his place really well and I'm usually <laughs> I'm usually out in like thirty minutes. <laughs> but they're fun and we like to support. Yeah, one of my uh, cousins is actually autistic and I know I'm a musician, but he like picked the guitar up and he's like out of control. It's it's Wow, that's it, awesome. It's so artistic, like uh you know, it's it's amazing to see, and we're learning so much about it now. Like back in the day, we didn't know much about it, so it's awesome seeing right. when people are doing these fundraisers and stuff like that. Because just in the past fifteen years, it's amazing how much we found out about autism. So yeah, it seems to be more common lately as well. At least that's what it seems to me. And I want to thank you so much for coming on Pure Evil MMA. You know, we saw the movie. You did an amazing job. I actually saw you, you in 17 and Light. You know, the Jailbait movie. You played a great role in that one. And the big premiere is February 16th at the Miracle uh, Theater for your uh, upcoming movie. Uh, correct? Yeah, One Penny. One Penny, which is, one. which is about a homeless uh, teenager. Is that correct? Yeah, it's, it's about this uh, young homeless boy who... Um, basically he's trying to find a better a way out of his situation and, and to help the other homeless people that he lives with to help themselves out of their situation. And, and I play, I'm a female lead, I, I, I play his crush. Like, <laughs> he's, a, he's a young kid, he's too young for me. But I, was, I, I play the crush in this movie. I um, it's a really good movie, I'm really proud of it. And I will be at the premiere, so hopefully people buy tickets. And if you're listening to this and you go and you watch it, we're going to do questions and answers after. Um, but, but I'm really proud of it. So. That's awesome because I actually saw like a little clip where the kid's actually being bullied and you kind of came in and broke it up and then you kind of uh, yep. both stared at each other for five seconds and I could kind of see now why you're saying he's got a crush. So we're going to have to check it out. It's going to be premiering, guys, February 16th and then uh, it will be coming out uh, you know shortly after that. So make sure you keep up with it all on Aaron's page, Aaron O'Brien on Facebook. And Aaron, what we like to do at this point in our interviews, I hand the imaginary microphone all the way, California, over to you. And, uh, you know, if you have any sponsors, any shout outs, anything at all, the floor is all now yours. Oh, um, I think I already did it. Just I, I hope people um, come to the of uh, One Penny in uh, D.C. on uh, February 16th. We're going to do, like I said, a question and answer. The whole cast is going to be there. One of the uh, cast members is a Broadway star now. Uh, we've got a, a a play that's been on Broadway uh, called Dear Evan Hansen. So hopefully everybody comes out and supports it. Again, I'm really proud of it. So Thank you so much for coming on. Have a great night. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. This was fun. I'll talk to you soon.